Hey guys, back again at the Oscar Tiny House. Um, I shut the fireplace down via just closing the valve on the propane tank. But always run your fan, fans in my case, um, to continue removing the heat out of the chamber. Um, making it more efficient that way. It is uh, 52 Fahrenheit now. And the unit is off, but still throwing out plenty of heat. It's comfortable in here, guys. I mean, once you get your, um, whoa, sorry about that. Once you get uh, <laughs> your little um, camo, oh, Jesus, sorry. Camo little guys on, you'll be, you'll be set. Don't have to be camo, but that's what I found on sale. Um, the light has not brought the battery on yet for my um, temperatures and stuff like that, but I'm gonna give it a day or two to charge those batteries back up because they've been probably dead for a while. Um, notice it's darker over in the bedroom area now, bedroom slash closet area, because I put the um, black curtain back up. Um, however, I left the solar stuff in the light. That way it can still get its charge. Um, just got to make sure that it's not blocking the solar panels, the solar cells. There. Um, that way I, it's still powering my little light back in the closet area. Well, both lights back there. And this kind of worked out. I had my TV um, uh, aerial cable here um, when I first tried everything out for the tiny house. So this will work out nicely, I think. And I can still see through everything and I think that's gonna work out nice. I won't be too cold back here, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, I'm just letting everything settle down via the fireplace. I kind of put everything back up on my kitchen counter, rearranged some stuff. Um, but that's the way it goes. Still more to do. I want to take this, um, I have this, it's kind of like a clothes rack, I think, or a coat rack. I think it's a coat rack. And I want to set this up on my um, my cupboard thing here to get rid of this. And then I can hang some stuff off of there, like my cooking mitts and stuff like that. Go up a little higher maybe even. That'll work. Set something up like that. Um, I don't have a drill with me today. Hopefully you guys are, were able to see that. Yeah, you were. Um, I shut the light off on the camera. If you notice, it's darker in here. Um, the, the light on this camera is really good. It's a bright, super bright LED, a Cree bulb, C-R-E-E. -E. And it works really well, but it drains my battery a lot quicker. And if my battery's dead in this guy, then no video. So, kind of weigh the con pros and cons right now. Um, I'll check on the terracotta pot, see if it didn't start, though definitely the base is starting to warm up. The mortar and pestle is warming up in my little teapot. Stainless teapot's just there, it's empty. Nothing really to, um, that's really not gonna do anything. Um, but other than that, guys, I need to organize, clean, do all kinds of stuff still in the tiny house. So that's what I'm hoping this nice Christmas gift is going to do. Um, it's, I'm expecting it either this week or next week. Um, and it's early. It's, it's, it's before Christmas. So, but I want to get over here, try it, film it, then I can bring over some water to mop 
floor with. Um, I'm going to have to wear clean running shoes. So I'll need those when I do my mopping because I don't want soaked feet. Um, and then, yeah, we'll go from there. We'll clean the tiny house up. Um, things are still coming together other than in the land department. Unless a miracle happens, I win the lottery or something like that, then, um, yeah, that's kind of out of reach right now. But I did my best. I tried my best. That's all you can do. So, um, what else? Um, if you guys want me to show off anything in here that you're interested that I don't show off enough, let me know. Comments below. I'll try and do that. If you got any questions for me, uh, I can do another Q&A. Um, anything, prepping, conspiracies, um, tiny house, um, whatever you want to throw at me, I'll try and answer. Um, just put a little comment that you want this in the Q&A, just do, type in like, I want this comment, this question in the Q&A or whatever. I've done them before, they're kind of popular, so why not try it again? I got way more subscribers now, so some newer guys might, um, newer guys and girls might want to uh, ask me some stuff, so feel free to write that Q&A in the comments below and I'll make a whole video of just Q&As of your comments and show off anything you guys want to see in the tiny house. Um, I'm, I'm loving this, how this is comfortable. And it's, <laughs> I'm basically running it on some batteries, guys. One is, um, is two AA batteries, and the other is basically a little battery bank of probably AAA batteries. I'm not quite sure, but I'm pretty, Pretty, pretty certain that's what that other power pack is. The more batteries you have, the more uh, milliamp hours you can have. And so let's check on the heat value. It should be, oh no, it's still pouring out quite a bit. And actually, we are up to 52 Fahrenheit now, guys. You guys see that? 52 Fahrenheit, yep. Yeah. And that's um, quite a ways away from the fireplace, by the way. It's near me. It's right there. Whoop, right there. And there's the fireplace way over there. So, I'm going to say six feet. Maybe eight feet. Something like that. Six feet, I think. Um, yeah, so... I just, I'm, I'm super impressed with what I did with that fireplace. I'm, I'm heating the tiny house off a propane tank and a little bit of battery power. No solar yet, but once I do have solar, I can um, charge these batteries up, have always, have always um, uh, rechargeables on standby for the crappy days when I don't have a lot of solar. And um, yeah, I'm pretty impressed, happy. So I'm gonna say 100% success, guys. If you're unsure of how to do it, watch my videos. Um, but be extremely careful. Um, do it at your own risk. Let, let me put that statement out there. If you think you got, you can handle it and change that stuff over, um, be, be very confident before you try it. That's all I gotta say. Check for leaks, soap and water on the joints. Um, make sure you have that gasket sealer, the red, high temperature red silicone, to replace your gasket, because I'm pretty certain most gaskets do break on these uh, units, but you can use, there's, it's 100% legal to use the um, red silicone high temperature stuff to, uh, as a replacement gasket. Or do what I did, I save, I was able to save the pieces of the gasket and all I did was I, 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 I put the um, high temp silicone along the border of where the gasket was and just pressed the pieces back all together like a puzzle piece and now they're now the, they won't break apart and they're solid. 
so that's <laughs> good thinking. But uh, anyway, I'm super happy about um, the tiny house right now. I know um, I've been pretty crappy on videos lately, guys, and I apologize, but as you can tell, that was quite a kick in the gut. Um, when I get, I found a nice property, found a nice landlord, and then the city says, you get that out of here, you know? So that's a bunch of crap, and I'll probably be, that was just devastating for me. That's probably as devastating as when the roof ripped off the tiny house, and I lost about $1,000. This didn't cost as much, actually, no, this didn't cost as much as that. I didn't lose a lot of money at all, actually. I gave the my previous landlord $60 just because of the headache of moving this trailer back for his time and his service. So, uh, you know, and we're still friends and everything. There's, He's just, you know, the city really screwed him and screwed us. So, because um, we had a good setup. Like, I even was friends with the... Um, he has a tenant, he had a tenant in that white house, and I made friends with him. He was even an Alex Jones InfoWars listener, which <laughs> you never know. So, uh, so yeah, he was storing, he had, um, he was working on a car project at the white house, and he was storing stuff under my tiny house under this when I had the skirting up, and I said, go ahead. No, no big deal. There's nothing under there. If you want to guys use a storage, go for it. Because I was I was happy over there, guys. I had a nice view. Um, I was getting ready to be honest, guys. When my net before I got kicked off the property, my next step was literally to buy the large MPPT charge controller, and then um, the lithium battery, 100 amp hour, and hook all my racking up on the roof wire everything in and have solar power over there. And then I would have been in, moved in, in in no time, especially since I found that free internet over there. Uh, the signal wasn't that hot, but I'm sure High Tech I-18 would have been able to um, f f <laughs> give me a little hint as to how to uh, take full advantage of the free Wi-Fi hotspot that I found over there. And I was able to use it a little bit to talk to him on Hangouts, but the signal was weak, and, um, you know, that's the way things work. So, I just wanted to do a little update, talk to you guys, um, while I'm waiting for the fireplace to cool down. It's starting to now. There's still a little bit of heat there, though. Um, 74, or, oh, not 74, 54, guys. Now, 54 Fahrenheit. And the unit's been off. It's just the, uh, that noise you hear is the, the fans. When they warm up, the sound goes away. When they start cooling down, as you can hear now, you hear that uh, 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 kind of annoying, but at least I know I can hear it and it's there um, type of noise. Not a big deal, especially since they don't draw a lot of power. I think it's more of a vibration thing, metal on metal that I'm hearing because it's like type of you know but I can live with that that's no big deal um, but you know I want to just uh, put everything out there for you guys uh, tell you everything I you know everything that's going on um, but more to come in the new year for sure this uh, I got a lot done this year guys and then the tail end of the year kind of um, just was brutal. I lost my grandmother, I lost my property over there, and now I'm back here to where we started, where I actually built the tiny house. This is the spot, <laughs> believe it or not. And um, yeah, so, but through the entire year, we had work, I was working full time out the Wazoo, and it was uh, affording me the money to get more and more done here and I was on the verge of having a huge breakthrough before the city totally pulled the rug from underneath me and yeah you guys probably hate me for talking about it but I was pretty sh devastating 
that's what happened and I'm sticking to it. But um, I'm going to end the video. You probably are sick of me ranting and raving. But um, I'm just going to wait a little, f a few, a few minutes longer, 10 minutes or so. Then I'll disconnect the fans. Everything will be safe. And I'm off back home. And I will have work tomorrow. Yet again. Um, so, that's the way it is. But at least the, um, everything else is looking pretty good now. Everybody, uh, kind of, I did that little poll on the Facebook group. Not a lot of people participated, but enough of my loyal, um, fans that are always talking to me and stuff. They said, get that bed over in that corner, design the, make the house look a little nicer. I'm, 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 it does, it's in progress, guys. We're working on it. We got the bed moved at least, and now I got all that space where the bed once was and well now the door opens and you're not looking at a bed so there's the door if I kind of go like this you just see wall and an air conditioner <laughs> but uh yeah so and look at my wonderful view look at the ducks in the river and uh sar sarcasm by the way guys do I, can, can I see that little spinner up there? Let's see. Oh, there it is. Spinning away in the wind. Really spinning, actually. But anyway, I'm going to end the video, guys. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's about it. Like I say, it looks like it's going to start dumping rain or snow because it's getting pretty dark. Um, so we'll see what happens exactly. Um, and I want to get, um, my brother just bought a, an elliptical, um, to replace, he had a sit down, uh, fitness bike, and I used to have one as well, and then I stopped using it because of the major reason that a lot of them, the very, very bad con that come getting a sit down bicycle, um, is the metal that you're sitting on is really hard on the backside and even could probably screw up your spine and hips if you got like you'd actually feel the pain back there so with an elliptical you're standing up you're doing your deal I may get one and I may put it in the tiny house guys because I need to lose another person um, and I'm thinking of where to put that. Now, I can even put that bad boy right here along this wall where the bed used to be. And that way I could turn my TV around and watch TV or a movie or do a hangout with somebody if I get internet in here. And that way I can have some kind of nice setup. Um, but I don't want to get too much stuff. Like I want once the landlord or once the accountant gets his stuff out of here, obviously I'm going to lose half my rent um, a month. However, I'm going to gain space, and then hopefully I'll be able to complete the project. And I still don't know how I'm going to fix this. The windows, the the trim needs up there. It needs to be up there, and it's it's nasty. I don't know how to fix that. It's almost like. Ugh. <laughs> but uh whatever we'll figure it out guys and i gotta get some more paint again to do some touch-ups um as you can tell over here where those gas things were attached to the wall they kind of mess the walls up and all that stuff so yeah i should end the video because i'm just going to talk on and on and uh the fireplace should be about done but the slippers, guys, um, work really well. No cold feet. Got to have slippers in here in the winter time, anyway. Other than that, you're in soft, so pretty good. Yeah, just a little latent heat left there. Um, what are we at before I go? It's probably gonna reach 55 by the time I bail out of here. Um, we're still at 50. 
54 Fahrenheit. The fans went silent. Oh, and I bring the camera over and they say, nope, we're still here. Yeah, they're still going, so. Yeah, sometimes Primo's power pack actually stops for a moment and then restarts, but not very often, but I did notice that. So we'll see. And hopefully this thing gets fixed so you guys can get updates on what the weather is in here. It's kind of a nice new spot, actually. I do like that. So that kind of turned out well. Um, but other than that, guys, I talk too much, and I'm out of here. So we'll see you on the next one.